Hey there, Paul Gordon here, Harry American Troll, the fine art of face dancing, talking to you from the Art of Face Dancing International Headquarters here in Copenhagen, Denmark. I want to talk to you about composition. Composition of your frame, your camera universe. You can do this and make it really, really interesting because rule number one for me, don't be a floating head in a boring world. If I see you with nothing behind you, I get bored. It's much more interesting to let my eye wander to all sorts of other things while I absorb your information. It's not going to be distracting. The brain works fast enough and efficiently enough that we can take in all the different things while also absorbing your information, okay? That's a myth. Take away everything else and then make it crisp and clean? No, that makes it boring. You can disagree with me, I don't care. I'm gonna do it my way. If this resonates with you, please roll with it. So this is how you do it, okay? You take some plant that you have in your house or in your office and you move it into a corner so that it's back there and you find a nice piece of um, painting or picture or something that you can remount on the wall, just temporary if you want to, and just slap it over there. And then, if you're at your office, your desk, then tidy up your desk and put the things that are interesting in the background. You have a nice piece of sculpture, put it there. You have a Rubik's Cube, because you're a little nerdy and you like to do that stuff, that's cool. I love the Rubik's Cube. If you had a Rubik's Cube in yours, I would identify with you, because I happen to like that. Okay, crisp and clean, colorful, interesting, things that are worthwhile checking out while I watch you and pay attention to what you're doing. And I'll leave you with uh, two more things. One is my example. What is this? Well, I have a whiteboard behind me. I like using the whiteboard to describe what I'm doing. So, my whiteboard is behind me. However, I also have a painting behind me. My wife is a fantastic visual artist. She's a painter, makes all sorts of great big paintings, and they're beautiful. So, because I'm also an artist, I frame myself with a piece of art in the background. This feels good to me. And here's an example from real life that is not me and it's not you. It's a famous uh, framed composition by Akira Kurosawa, famed, renowned Japanese filmmaker. He made a film called Dreams. And in this film called Dreams, he has this one section with these kimono-dressed uh, people in all sorts of bright color and bright makeup and they're on this outdoor grass tiered um, uh, Landscape and it's really 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 cool and They do their thing and he was interviewed one time by somebody who said how did you get that beautiful thing? He says well, I found this giant tall tiered you know grass covered landscape and to the right of it was an ugly building, and to the left of it was an ugly factory. So I framed those, I, I framed my piece, cropping them out. And then I had my little area, and I worked with that as best as I could to figure out how to make that image. So I could have a smelly garbage pile just over there. You don't know. It doesn't matter. I have cropped my camera universe to reflect what I want you to see, and you do the same. Make it about you, your reflection of what you want to say. For example, if you're doing a cooking thing, make the kitchen interesting, right? And don't make it sloppy. Just saying. Composition. Framing. Camera universe, you got this. Speak soon. Paul Gordon, fine art of face dancing, hairy American troll, and this, uh, this is brought to you by the color blue.